small groups of three. Yes, uh, three or two. How it is usually? Yes, three to block. Uh, please discuss which topic can be chosen, and uh, so uh, so we can get the information. And what kind of information can we get? Please, I think three minutes is more than enough. We need to. complicated things that so uh, as he told that it's war everybody against everybody it's a, a world war and other conflict national conflict religious conflict maybe something like this so can you narrow yeah, your pictograms of course it shows that that uh, trouble that the suffering has a large impact on both societies no questions so if they can ask interviewees. Mm -hmm. So remember that possible question should should answers because no one will mm -hmm. put down your own story. It's okay if you can if it's ready, but form of results you can do all this, so it should be the results can be filled somewhere to be calculated. And uh, take uh, took into consideration how would the expected results look like? So let's form the question again. Mm -hmm. possible, uh, possible stages and timing for your survey, how long time? Mm -hmm. Amount of students, are well, this for two, for five, a group? How are they compared in them? And uh, personal responsibilities they group. Try to develop. Actually, we don't have any question yet. They provoke more questions. 
We didn't have anything. Didn't, we, we didn't have questions from the students. Sometimes teachers yeah. Yeah. feel it difficult to but develop I, a situation. Well, I just want to explain that we, we, we were not unproductive, <laughs> but we had a lot of discussion how to, to approach the topic. Our idea, so we have <laughs> the idea how to arrange questions. Yeah. The first question was, uh, what was your age, the age of respondent during the Second World War? The person we are asking, because we ask those people who were children, mm -hmm. what was your age? What was the age of respondent? Okay, shall I tell, say the second? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, then the second one, where uh, did you live during the Second World War? Experience of war. Uh, and here we have a list. For example, occupation, front line, partisan um, detachment, um, evacuation, army, uh, working at plant, hiding in some shelter, mm -hmm. and so on and so on. Uh, hunger, uh, lo uh, feeling of being lost, uh, grief, terror, uh, despair, uh, and so on. Uh, the next question. What is the, br uh, the most bright impression uh, that, uh, uh, keep, uh, that uh, can be kept in your mind? The gen maybe general uh, memory of war, general impression of war, that can be expressed uh, by one uh, word or just a couple of words. A feeling of hatred towards the enemy. Do you, oh, do you still have or do you have a feeling of hatred towards the end? It's uh, definitely people who were children in the war. So, and I think, when you, uh, I think it's very good to ask those questions to those people and you get a lot of information. Um, but if you want to do this with students, they should be able to find people who were, were children during the war. So that might be a little bit difficult. Yeah. In yes. our country, for yes. example, there is a special social category which yes. is called children of war. For example, my parents have special uh, certificate, special ID that shows that they are children of war. All people who were born uh, in 1941 they are considered to be children of war. So by the age, children can find such people and uh, interview them. And I would add to this list the questions for those who gather interviews for modern children. Question for those who were taking interviews. What was their feelings, perceptions, impressions when they were taking interviews? From those elder people. Ah, what what I mm -hmm. what what here is already an what, educational aspect of this. What I want to feel. Very interesting to um to then assist this kind of questionnaire in a similar way as you did your project uh, to compare various countries and what mm -hmm. was the experience of children in various countries because that actually shows also the contrast. Mm -hmm. I would expect that there's a huge contrast. Yes. between Russian children and American children. What were you doing in the war? So, a German boy of 15 years old could have said, I was in Stalingrad. I fought in Stalingrad. So that is something totally different with a, German, with a Russian boy. I don't know if Russian boys of that age fought in the army. Sometimes it could be a sub regiment there. Yeah. Yeah. But could my, could my, my main problem with the approach of this project uh, in, in the past, I did uh, the Illusion History project, and we ran uh, to the, in, in the same. Uh, in the same problem we run into there because we are from our side with a name in our heads no more again we don't do the, this anymore to children and at the moment it happens we can't prevent that so we should leave that out that children shouldn't be in the future involved in war Leave that out because we can't prevent that.
and it's a very interesting thing. His, for your, now you, uh, the system of your mother, yeah, yeah, yeah. they went on their own from, from, from Poland to America, on their own, 11 and 9 years old, on their own. Nowadays, parents in my country are bringing their children by car 100 meters to their school. And when I say, my grandson, seven year old, can go by bike, you are absolutely crazy. So, and that's the big difference. If you can do it like this way, you can also ask uh, ordinary people what their perceptions are about uh, children at war, like what you yes. said, and you get another kind of investigation. Um, but I think for presenting this kind of uh, research, it's more qualitative than quantitative. Mm -hmm. So maybe it should be uh, writing articles or essays about it, mm -hmm. and maybe some quantitative data in, in graphics. But a story, like the one you told Will, says much more about these kinds of questions than uh, percentages. Yes. So you could also discuss this with, uh, with your students, how will you do it? Will you do it qualitative or quantitative or maybe a little combination? Thank you.